Next summit. Thank you. Thank you for the non-attached. Um, colleague Stadler, one minute. Madam President. Madam President. Now, this summit showed us one thing, one thing that we've already seen the last few weeks and months, namely that the European Union's uh, policy towards Russia has colossally failed. We've seen it with the Ukraine, uh, playing Ukraine off against Russia. Now, that's a complete disaster. Uh, we've seen uh, completely uh, failed uh, talks. We, we saw that really nothing was produced by the summit. We had Armenian members of parliament here that were... Uh, asked about this and they said well there wasn't a great deal of uh, pressure put on us by Russia there was no pressure we were given concrete offers they were uh, offered things not put pressure wasn't put on them and this was something that's clear to see in in a half an hour talking with Russia now the U EU hasn't done enough here and we see that clearly in the Ukraine. The Ukrainian people say, well, why isn't the EU more present here? In the Timoshenko crisis, this has been spiralled into a, a state crisis. And we don't even know what we're talking about with this kind of association agreement with the Ukraine when we're not even in a position to finance our next uh, budget. And we can't plump up the money when the Russia has put on the table 50 billion euros. Now that's the difference. The European Union, with this kind of policy towards Russia, has simply failed time and time again. And we need to come to a new basis for our relations with Russia. Uh, and we need to see them as partners and not al uh, enemies. Uh, Mr. Stadler, do you accept the blue card? Blue card for you, please. Yes, Mr. Stadler, I'm aware of the position of your party and I'm um, not um, in agreement. Now, um, you know, clearly um, the um, Austrian right has its own position on European monies going eastwards without any conditions attached, but I haven't really heard you commenting on that in detail. It's what you seem to be implying is going to happen. Mr. Lambsdorff, uh, well, uh, there was a lot of questions put together there. Let me quote you. Uh, you actually talked about the uh, colossal failure of the relations with the Russia. I was simply picking up on those words. The truth is that nobody is willing to uh, put their money on the table. So uh, why are we putting one country against another with Ukraine and Russia? Why uh, are the Russians accusing us of intervening and interfering with other policies if we're not putting uh, money on the table? If we know we can't uh, afford it, then we simply uh, shouldn't do that. Uh, we can't do what Russia is doing. I think it's much more sensible to see what we can afford, what we can actually achieve, and then go to uh, the debate with Russia as a potential partner. Grazie. Thank you.